Hello, lovey tribe. Welcome to day number eight of 10 days of Merry Mistmas. Today's medium is going to be hand drawn or handmade. So, in yesterday's video, if you've been with me, um, I started talking about how I would love to find little mushrooms because I love nature and all that stuff, but something Christmassy. And I was like, you know what? I think I can draw that. So in this little package, that's exactly what I did is I took the time to draw out some cute little what I feel is Christmas mushrooms. And I'm going to use that as my medium today to make this card. So I will show you um, what I drew. And then I already took the time to like fussy cut them out. So here's my first little mushroom who has a cute little um, scarf on. He has this little hat. I stuck a little candy cane to him over here and I just think he turned out adorable. My larger mushroom has like a little elf hat going on and I gave him a little bow tie. I think he turned out super, super cute. Then I made like a little choir of mushrooms, little smaller ones and gave them each a little hat and then gave like the little choir a bow tie to like pull them all together. And I think they turned out super cute. And I'm calling these guys little fa la la fungus. <laughs> fa la la fungus. I think that's super cute. And then I also made Mary Mushroom. So that's what I did yesterday. Mary Mushroom and fa la la fungus. And I already, like I said, fussy cutting them out. So I have like a little idea of what I want. I feel like this paper in particular goes very well with the mushrooms because of this, the, the, like, it's just naturey looking to me. So we're going to be using this and I have a scrap of this very wood grain looking, um, scrap paper that has like a nice gold edge. And I'm going to use that as well with my little mushrooms here. So I have like no idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to create, but I love to draw and make all kinds of different kinds of things. So I already started to draw some things for winter of 2020, my little winter birds and my little winter bunny and snowmen. And I even added some mushrooms in there. He's looking up. I put little earmuffs on him and gave him, I don't know. I just like to draw little different things and, this is kind of what I do, and this is the exact place I drew my little mushrooms and fussy cut them out. I like make my own die cuts. So, I'm not gonna ramble. What I'm gonna do, because I really don't have a whole idea of what I'm doing, I'm just going to invite you guys along for um, the creative process. So my idea is to make this paper my base card, so it'll be a seven by 10 as usual, and then this will be my layer on top. Like I said, it's a scrap and I just feel like it will be, I just feel like that would be very nice. It, it, to me, it works with the mushrooms. And then with some of this that's left over, I might actually take the time to like fussy cut some of these out, which will take me some time to use with the mushrooms so that I could pull some of the back paper to the front. So there might be a lot of fussy cutting. So I just want to give you guys a heads up of what I'm doing. I'm just going to cue the music and I'm just going to get busy and create.
Hey guys, I am finished. I think it turned out so stinking cute. So when I laid down the wood piece, I just thought the edges were a little too raw. Even if I was to distress them, I just don't think I would have liked it. So I went through all of my washi and I found this great plaid washi and I really think that really pulled the whole card together. I really think the plaid washi is what really made this a card. And then, but because I did use that plaid washi, because the red is not your typical red red, it's kind of a deep rust. I think it's even deeper than burgundy. My original Mary Mu uh, Mushroom, which this is like that bright cherry red, I just, I felt like it just clashed. It just did not go with this deep burgundy plaid. So that's why you saw me rewrite Mary Mushroom. And then what I did is I used this deep, see it's almost the same as that color. It's like, this actually is a wine. Um, so it's like a burgundy. So I used that as this part because it would be smaller. And then I used the deep green, the deep forest green to outline, which picks up all the green from the plaid and from all of the um, little bits that we used um, from our scraps. So I love this because this, I feel like this paper was perfect. This paper, cause like these little things, the pine cones, I don't know, I just feel like this paper was perfect to use with mushrooms because it was very naturey to me. So even though I had to take a lot of time to fussy cut all of that out, which I didn't even show you all of that because even sped up, I felt like that would be really boring for you to watch. I really love it. I love it cause those elements pulled forward now they, they look beautiful. So some of them I glued straight to the paper and then other ones I put the um, double-sided 3M tape on so that it would pop up. So there is like a 3D element. So some of them are behind, are glued, and then some are popped up on top, even on top of our mushrooms and things like that. So I really, really love how this ended up turning out and I love how there's these little elements of the card pulled forward. So I ended up really, really liking it, even though I had to like fix the Mary Mushroom and it did take me some time to fussy cut. I love how this came out. So you guys tell me, did I pull off Christmas mushrooms? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys really, like let me see my camera will focus. So these little mushrooms have all the little Christmas hats on. And then, of course, like I said, he has an elf hat, and I did stickle them. I think you guys can see I stickled all of their hats so that they have a nice shine. And this little guy, he's a different kind of mushroom, but I did give him, like, a nice little Christmas hat. He's stickled as well, and he's holding a little candy cane, and he has a little scarf. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I achieved merry mushrooms? <laughs> Christmas mushrooms. I don't know. I think it's cute, but that's just me. I'm so different. I love different kinds of things. And I love today's medium, which is all handmade. So I hand drew the mushrooms and I hand drew the Mary Mushroom, um, Mary Mushroom and the Falala -la Fungus. So to me, this is a very handmade card and it's very original and it's mine and I think it turned out really cute so you guys tell me down in the comments your opinion what you think let me know I personally love them but I love mushrooms so <laughs> and just so you guys know I used um, my Tombow's um, because a lot of people ask um, what kind of um, markers or pens or what I use as my medium to um, color in. I always use my Tombow's. I love these things. And to achieve the different looks, that's how people always ask me, how do you achieve the different looks? Um, I use the blending, let me show you, the blending brush that comes with it. The blending brush. See how it's clear? Yeah. So this, you blend your colors um, you can also use a paintbrush because these are almost like, um, they're not exactly like watercolor, but they do interact with water. You'll still kind of get your line, like you'll still, like if you draw a line and you use a paintbrush, you'll probably still see the line. That's why your blending brush is the best, but if you do it very quickly, 
um, you can still use a paintbrush too. But your blending brush is really how you achieve like the shades and things like that. So combos are a lot of fun to play with. And they, like as you can see, they do a beautiful job. So I'm going to quit rambling, but I know that's one of the questions that I get asked very often is what I use to do my coloring and such. And it is Tombows. I really do enjoy them. And I love drawing. And I know my drawing is not like professional or these beautiful images. Mine is like, I don't know. I don't know what you would call mine, but it's mine. <laughs> So I'm going to quit rambling on and on and on. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think of my Merry Mushroom Christmas card. And um, I'd love to chat with you there. Please make sure you drop down in my Dropbox and check me out on my Instagram. Matter of fact, just stalk me there. You can stalk me on Patreon and on my Facebook group as well, where we post all kinds of crafty fun things. So make sure you drop down in the Dropbox and check out what I got going on down there as well. So guys, we have two more days left. I cannot believe we have two more days left in Merry Miss Miss. I can't believe these 10 days just flew. So I'm really excited about the next two cards and then it will be Christmas. So until tomorrow, guys, always do what you love. Take care of you and I'll see you tomorrow for day number nine of Merry Miss Miss of homemade card making. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.